Hello siblings! Today I'm having my housewarming party and I thought it'd be fun to just vlog me getting ready for it. This is so weird. I've not picked up the camera to vlog like basically since my wedding, but I'm back. We're vlogging. Let's get to it. Unfortunately, I just decided to make this video and I kind of already set up the decorations. So let me show you that. Once I have all the food and stuff, I'll move everything around, but this is all leftover from my wedding. So I finally get to use it, use some of the decor. I would made these for Christmas and I had all this Christmas stuff. So just for Works out perfect and then I'll have some more snackies up here me and my husband spent all day yesterday cleaning the house this is literally the cleanest it's ever been finished decorating all that kind of stuff but I still have a few more decorations like I have this big shelf in my living room and it still has fall decor on it because I have to get a ladder to change everything so we'll do that in a minute I was gonna say I wanted to smell good so I'm gonna get my diffuser going and then I just freaking dropped all diffuser water on me Nothing ever goes good as soon as I turn the camera on, like, it's done, we're done. I also have no idea who's coming, if anyone's coming, no one has said anything. Uh, hopefully people show up, that'd be good. I think we'll go with like a rose. What's like Christmassy actually? I have cedar, is that like a Christmas scent? Mm, it's like kind of Christmassy, I guess. This, ooh, cinnamon, definitely gotta do cinnamon. Oh my gosh, I haven't even used this yet. Mm, I really like the cinnamon. I think I'll add, like one drop of cedar as well. It always smells good, even just like opening this up, it just, yo. I'm just gonna put this up here right now. I'll point it to myself. What color do I make it? This is kinda ugly. I think I like the purple. That's good. Oh my gosh, that smells amazing. Wow, okay, that made a huge difference. Oh my gosh, it would be cute. Let me erase my groceries list off of here. I'm gonna write like, Welcome to my house or something cute like that. Welcome home, welcome to my house. Welcome to the Alanese house, that'd be good. I'll do that. Okay. Not very really artistic in this kind of way. Okay, here's what we have so far. <laughs> Whatever, it's just going on the fridge. Draw a little house. Oh my gosh, I cannot draw a straight line to save my life. My sad two little Christmas trees. Um, and then because it's already bad, we may as well make it worse, right? And I will try to add some snowflakes. All right, we're stopping while we're ahead and we're actually quite low. We're quite behind. We're moving on to something I'm better at, which is making food. But before that, we have to put on the iconic Christmas vibes on the TV. There's something extra cozy about the fact that I'm having this party right before Christmas. This is the weekend before Christmas. I feel like that just matches. Cozy vibes. Why are my tree, my tree lights have been having issues. It's remote controlled, but the remote control light doesn't work. Never mind, it worked. <laughs> and my tree is like falling over. I'm putting on a cute Christmas vibe, but I have to turn it all the way down so I don't get copyrighted. As far as food goes, I'm planning on making little smokies wrapped in bacon. I'll have cheese and grapes, boards and crackers, Oreo balls, uh, veggies and dips, and oh, I forgot I'm making deviled eggs. Oh, and I have like chips and salsa and queso and stuff. So, lots to do. I'm guessing, as far as right now, I already froze the Oreo balls, so I need to add chocolate to the Oreo balls, make the little smokies and bacon, and make the deviled eggs. Everything else just needs to be set out when it gets closer to the party time. So, yeah, let's look up how to make this stuff. I know how to make deviled eggs, so we'll start with that. I really like to use the Instapot method for my deviled eggs, or hard boiling the eggs. Fill my pot with water. My coffee from this morning. So especially because I don't know how many people are coming, I literally have no idea how many double eggs to make. I thought this was helping, but I think it's making it worse. Okay, my husband loves double eggs, so if there's leftovers, I don't think he'll be mad about it. And each egg makes two double eggs, so... Five. You know what, we may as well just make almost the rest of this curtain. We'll make 24. 24 is like a good, just solid number. Then you just... Make sure it's plugged in, I guess. Hold on. There we go. I do the 555 method, so you press your Coke for five minutes, and then you do a five minute release, and then five minutes in an ice bath. Now for the Smokies and Bacon. I just crushed my finger. I've never made these before. I imagine they are super easy. I'm gonna add brown sugar to some of them as well. Preheat to 325. In a small bowl, stir together brown sugar, cumin, chili powder. I don't think I have any of that. 
We just have the brown sugar. We're gonna deal with it. Cut bacon strips in half down the center of the package. So you have 42 short strips. Make room. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. All right, that's package one. I'm just gonna cut all of these because I think I have a lot more Smokies than I meant to buy. So now we just wrap one bacon piece around one Smokie, secure the, oh, toothpicks. Oh my gosh. I'm pretty sure I have some. No, like I know for a fact I have some. I just remember I put them in a really weird spot. I found them. Please tell me why they were in a drawer and not a cabinet. What kind of psychopath am I? I don't know. All right, we're just gonna open the whole thing because we'll need a lot. Open up our Smokies. Smoky bacon roll and then secure with a toothpick. Like so, pretty easy, okay. And then we'll just sprinkle the brown sugar and bake for an hour. So pretty simple, let's get to it. done this in two pans but we're on I'm doing half brown sugar and then half not brown sugar so let's go ahead and put them in the oven all right another item check next up is the Oreo balls I think I actually just like burned my pan because that was frozen oh I'm gonna do milk chocolate and white chocolate every time I do the chocolate stuff I always burn it so I'm like should I just do the microwave method Got a taste test. Approved. Approved. All right, so we're gonna do pretty much half and half. I do kind of want to transfer just the plates. All right, here we go. is the deviled eggs. Now, pretty much every other time I make deviled eggs, they're amazing and they're awful. So I'm really hoping tonight is a night that they're amazing. Now the best part about the 555 method is the shell literally just comes right off so easy. Simple ingredients, mayo, mustard, garlic salt, and then sprinkle a little paprika over the top. I don't know if you can see my problem, but my ladder is not tall enough. I have another one, but it's not like this kind of ladder. It's the scary kind, so I'm gonna use this one. I have a nativity set that was gifted to me by my dad. He got it in Israel, so kind of like a sentimental gift. So I wanna put it up here. Cause like this, my mantle is not very wide and I'm just scared of them like immediately falling. So up there is actually a lot safer. I did this once before, I can do it again. Make sure you're not gonna be moving. Hello. Can you, you make sure the ladder doesn't have to move? Because it's kind of out of the way. Am I supposed to know which one? Is this Mary? The only one with the baby's playing. Is that Joseph? No. Baby Jesus. Yeah, I can go over if that's what needs to happen. Bruh. Don't like yank down my lamp because it's barely hanging on there. Okay, that's pretty good. Could you bundle it up on the edge more? So okay, yeah, yeah, that looks good. No, it was too long earlier. That it's little flap good. needs to be put up. Hold on. Okay, there's my Christmas version. Nativity, all cute. Oh, it'd be so cute if I had like a twinkle light up there, but I don't have any that I can put up there right now. Now that all my Christmas stuff is up, I wanna show you guys when you walk in my house, what all my Christmas decor looks like and what my guests will be seeing. Imagine you walk into the house. I have this little garland. This all looks so good. Lots of just Christmas colors. I do wish I had more like Christmas decor and Christmas pillows, but this is what I have for now. I actually just remembered I had all these pillows and this blanket in my office, so swapped them out. It's a little too neutral for my liking, which is why I added the blanket across the top. I like colorful things since I have a plain couch. 
but it works for now. All right, the party starts in about 45 minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and lay all the food out, light the candles. I just got done turning on all the lights, doing some last minute tidying up, and I even put up videos of the house before on the TV. This is my house before we remodeled. And then I'm just gonna play lo-fi off the speaker. But I have a boss, so I can vlog. And must film this good kitty. I don't really have a plan for how I'm laying everything out. I'm kind of thinking like chips, dips up here, grapes, cheese over there. I'm gonna put together one of the little cheese boards. I knew that it would be too much work for me to cut a bunch of cheese. But I saw this really cute idea on Pinterest where you put your cheese on the board. You take like your stems of grapes and just kind of set it over top. Not really what I had in mind. Grape cheese board one. <laughs> Grape cheese board two. I think everything is officially ready. I have about 15 minutes until people are probably gonna start showing up. So let me show you. Honestly, she's so Pinterest. Are you kidding me? <gasps> so cute. And then over here, all I'm missing is the stuff that's in the oven, the little sausage bacon things. This is adorable. And then we have the drinks. Oh wait, the welcome sign. <laughs> and then all the drinks over here. I just realized I could probably, you know, put my vacuum away. <gasps> I forgot to light the candles. This is the only one that actually has a scent, so there won't be like overwhelming scents in the house. I'm kind of like, should I even light the ones over here? I'll probably just do it anyway. So glad I'm reusing all of my wedding stuff. Okay, now the ambiance is hitting for sure. It's 6.06, vlog right here a few minutes ago. First guest on time. Love oh, to yeah. see it. Yep, always on time. Go to. Oh, All right, this is from my dad, baby. Oh, that is actually very nice. Thank you. And then. A candle. Candle. Oh, Whoa. I was like, can I have it? <laughs> it's a really nice version yeah. of it. Use gifts for the best kind of gifts. What do you know? Jasper came in, got on my bed, <laughs> and they're playing with the cats. All the little kids migrating to where the Come cats over are. Come over there. Yeah! Oh, he ran away. His spouse is yelling at him. <laughs> my dad finally got her fireplace working. Yay! This one's just the gas one, so not as big of a deal. I knew it'd take a minute. There we go, you almost got lit on fire there. Is my hat on fire? No, you're good. Santa hat is clear. Now I don't have to put a fire on the TV, we actually have a fire. It's 1.30 in the morning. Log was the first to arrive. And he's now the last to leave. He's the OG goaded biggest you fan, biggest supporter. Love you, good night. night. Thanks for joining us, YouTube. <laughs> good morning. Tis left on. I'm heating up leftover pizza. We ordered pizza last night after everybody left and there was a little leftover, so I'm having it for lunch. The party last night was super successful. I had so much fun. Everybody finally got to come see my house. And then my friends stayed a little bit later and we were just playing some games and stuff downstairs. I ended up going to bed at like 2 a.m., which recently I've been going to bed at 9 or 10 p.m. So I was like so tired, but I was having a good time. And then Logan and Abram helped me clean up last night. And now it's the next day at 11.30, but not because I just woke up. I actually woke up at 7 a.m. because that's when I always wake up. Forced myself back asleep for maybe about an hour. And then I woke up and I remembered that my dad had given me their Kindle last night because they never use it. So they gave it to me for my housewarming party. And I had bought the book that I'm reading on there to see if it was actually easier to read on the Kindle. And oh my gosh, I accidentally just kept reading and reading and reading and reading. I read for a couple hours this morning. And so now I'm halfway through A Court of War and Roses. A Court of War and 
What even is it called? Honestly, I don't know. A Court of Wings and Ruin. Where did I even get War and Ruin? I guess because a court, I don't know, there's too many names, but because I keep calling it Aka War, that's where I got War from, and then Roses from the- Anyway, so I have it on the Kindle now. Oh, my brightness is like all the way down. I'm on chapter 30, and I'm just flying through it. Like this is kind of dangerous for how much I'll probably be reading, but this is perfect timing because we're next weekend going to Alabama for Christmas to see his family. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to bring the whole Akatar series with me because I'll be reading a lot, and that's a lot to bring. And now I can just get it all on my Kindle. Slay, best present ever. I'm like thoroughly dehydrated. I'm gonna chug some water real quick. I did so good drinking like a gallon or almost a gallon every day for like two or three weeks. And then this weekend I just said nah and I barely drink any water. So I'm like, I'm like SpongeBob when they bring him out of the water and he like shrivels up. Anyway, <laughs> now that my fireplace works, that is so moody and vibey for reading. Like, are you kidding me? So I'm gonna see if I can figure it out on my own. Hello, Griffin. Uh, but shout out to my dad for doing it last night. So now I don't have to just put a fire on the TV. I can actually have a fire. My dad showed me how. So you do like, I'm kind of scared. Wait, is that thing still open? Okay, don't wanna die. Of course it couldn't simply just be like a switch. That would be just far too easy. Okay, I got something. Push it in. It's supposed to be till you like feel it stop. So, press this. Okay, I got the pilot light on. Oh no, I went away. Okay, now I think I can like turn it on, on. No. Okay. Okay, so that's all the way on. I did it. It's making like a hissy noise. I forgot about my pizza in the oven, hold on. Oh, wow. I kind of burnt the pizza. I also ate two Oreo balls for breakfast when I woke up, which was the most criminal thing I think I've ever done in my entire life. But if you think about it, people eat like pancakes and syrup for breakfast, which is just sugar. Anyway, so it's like the same thing. But I've been eating really healthy for a few weeks, so I feel like throwing up right now, but I'm still gonna eat this pizza. Eating off of my fancy disposable wedding plates. Okay, it's not too burnt. I feel like it's like a fine amount of burnt. Garlic sauce. Now you can't tell me this isn't just super vibey. The only thing that can make the vibes better right now would be like a nice latte. Mm -hmm. 